Should you get a hex loan? I have a hex debt of $28,417.57. And this was affordable two years ago, but it is now getting out of control. With new changes to the way we have to repay this debt, it is now unaffordable. The ATO, Australian Tax Office, has just made it even harder for Australians to afford general living expenses with inflation on the rise, every dollar matters. My repayments were around $1,100 a year. And now that my income has gone up, which basically disappears to the cost of living, I now need to pay six and a half thousand dollars a year minimum. So should I accept a raise if it puts me into a higher category, which means I have to repay more per month? Making more money is good, right? But how come I end up with less? That is because a hex debt is indexed by inflation. And over recent times, inflation has surpassed wages. So I'm in a little bit of a pickle. And so are many others that have had these student loans hanging over their head. When you take a loan out with a government, then you are subject to their rules. The government changes every four years. So what one might promise another might not actually deliver. It always sounds so good, it can't be true. When you sign up for it, but you have no control over the debt you actually have. Here is a video of Jason Clare telling us that they're going to make changes so it's much fairer for us all. G'day everyone. I want to give you a quick update on the changes that we're making to make Hexfair. This Saturday, hex debts will increase by 4.7%. But don't worry, that's based on the old unfair system that we're fixing. And to fix it, we've got to pass legislation through this place. We'll do that later this year. And when that happens, your hex debt will drop. If you've got an average hex debt of 26 grand, you'll see it drop by about $1,200. If you've got a hex debt of 45 grand, it'll drop by about $2,000. We're building a better and a fairer education system. And the changes that we're making to hex indexation are a big part of that. Whatever. He states that we will see a reduction of $1,200 on a $26,000 debt. Okay, it is something, but not much. And will they actually do it? Well, we don't know. When was the last time a politician said they will do something and it doesn't actually happen? Like yesterday. I am not going to rely on the method of expectancy. Take ownership of your life and get it done. Between 2005 and 2006, the average debt was $12,500 and now it is over $30,000. That is a lot of money to repay for something that you can't see feel or touch. Plus, did I mention it is out of your control? Today, 47,000 people have a debt greater than $100,000. How can you pay that off with inflation as it is? And the cost of living is at breaking point. Student loans are interest free, right? No, they are not. If the wages went up by 4.2% and the estimated index is 4.5%, then you'll have more debt today than you had two years ago after your repayments. The Australian government makes more money from student loans than from the petroleum tax rents. That's right. Even when they're making big profits, us loaners are contributing more to the ATO. Does that seem fair to you if you have a hex debt? Because it doesn't to me. This is like any other debt that you may have. So let's deal with it the same way it should be dealt with. We need to find a better deal. We need to take control of the debt that we have. Once in control, then we can manage it to completion and get out of debt. Or how about the government actually does something about it? How is it that 10 years ago, I only had a hex debt of $20,000 and now I have my hex debt sitting at $28,000. How is that happening? Albanese. How about the government does something about it? 
because credit card loans are looking a lot better to me than my hex debt is currently. I'm struggling and so are a lot of other Australians. How about you actually do something about it for once?